Welcome, I'm Professor Pete Talbot of the Cardboard Tech Institute. Thank you for purchasing a Game Changer Series 1. We've got Swamp Quest, Glorkian Warrior, and Monster Suites. Have fun building your Game Changer. Swamp Quest by Ghost Shrimp. We're gonna be making this today. This is the Game Changer Series 1. And we've already assembled your pin box. So we're gonna be starting with this blank surface. Uh, I've got one right here. I'm gonna use this playboard. So I've got all of these pieces. These came in your Game Changer kit. And we're gonna start by putting these stickers off to the side. And we're gonna start with these laser cut boards. Let's punch out this playboard first. All right. And there are a couple pieces on here that you're going to want to punch out. These come out completely. Like that. There you go. And there's this one. The zombie zillionaire. This basically shows you where the three-dimensional pieces are going to be going. And then there's another strip right here. Pull that out. And then there's this piece right here. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold up this back piece right here. So let's put this on the table. We're just gonna crease that like this. There we go. So that's going to be a wall for the marble to run on. And then this one is gonna be a transition for the tree. So we don't wanna crease that 90 degrees, just a little bit like that, okay? And then right up here, I'm gonna crease that out. That'll come into play later. All right, so you've prepped the playboard. Now we're going to add in these three triangular structures. Um, these little pieces you can kind of just recycle or keep if you want to, but they don't, they're not needed after it. All right, so let's grab these ones. These are sunken boats. And you can punch out this little piece right there. And then do that with the other two. That one. And one more. So this one is going to be going here, and then these two, let's match it up, uh, yeah, right there, right here. And what we're going to do is fold this up, it might be kind of hard to see the, the creases, I'm going to fold it up like that, and then I'm going to fold these out like that. And then that is these wings are going to be going underneath this this portion, and then we're going to tape this from the under underside. Like that hold that there, and then I'm just going to tape it like that. And same thing with that one. Just make sure this is the sunken boat. Another brown sticker. Put that on there. Cool. And you don't need a sticker for these ones. The pressure of this being on the playboard is going to be enough to hold that down and in. And then let's put the 
third one in there. Get another little brown sticker. These guys are good because they, they're small and they deal with just this type of situation nicely. Okay, great. All right, so now, next portion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these kind of bushes, these like fire bushes. There's one. I'm gonna grab this one. So at the moment we're using these brown stickers and then we're gonna start using these other pin box stickers right here. So this one that has the flat side that goes on the left and this one goes on the right. You'll, you'll know which one is the, the front side by the shininess, it's really shiny. Also, this one only has fire on one side. So what we're gonna do is, you can see there's a, a middle double line right there. And we're gonna fold that like this, and then we're gonna kind of curve it out like that. And this is going to be installed over here. So these little pieces are going to be folding out like that and kind of locking in those holes. <clears throat> the way we're going to lock is we're going to put it one through there. And the other one is going to go up in there like that. And then this one is going to come around the bottom here, like that. And we want to make sure that this edge is pushed in like that. It's just this, this little tab is tied up in there. All right, and I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to fold a tab there, fold that tab there. And then I'm going to add, since there's a little nub here that kind of locks this tab in there, I'm going to add a little piece of tape to this one. Okay. That should hold it in there pretty good. All right, and now let's do that with this side. So we're gonna fold it out like this. And we're gonna go like that. And then go like that and kind of have it be this kind of curve. Like that. And then install it in here. those tabs down and then I'm going to add another piece of brown tape right there okay if you feel like you need more tape too um, I mean you can just use masking tape or scotch tape um, we included some stickers um, this will take care of the whole structure, but if you want to add some more tape just to help you feel like it's more solid, go for it. Okay, we've got these structures. Now, um, we're not going to put it on the playboard just yet. We are going to grab the tree. Okay, this thing is cool. All right, we've got the swamp frog, which is punch this guy out. And uh, the way that I like to punch out is I'll kind of like push down and away. That way you're not just sort of like tearing it out because um, it is cardstock and it is possible to rip it by accident. So just 
when punching it, just be mindful of that. All right. That. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna prep this by folding this piece down. This piece is gonna fold out like that. And then this is gonna fold back. And then this piece is gonna fold down in here. And then this one is a little funky. <clears throat> We're gonna fold this up and then we're gonna fold that out like that. And then this one, this is sort of like a little shoot. So fold that up. And then this, fold that around. And it's gonna link like, like that. So for this right here, let's grab one of those little red stickers. Okay, grab that. And let's put it right there. There we go. Okay, so there's one more piece that, on this that has to fold down. This folds like that. And this is gonna link in later to the dock. Okay. This is ready to get installed. Okay. All right. And this goes in like that. And you want to kind of put this underneath. So this is sort of like a, a transition onto the tree. <clears throat> and then underneath here, we've got that little tab that was coming out from the side of the tree. So let's go ahead and put a sticker on that. Color doesn't really matter for this part. Pin looks a thousand. All right, stickers. Okay, great. So that's locked in there. <clears throat> we can add some more attachments uh, sticker wise later, but we want to just hold that in there. The next portion is this little ball lock up by this frog witch. And what we wanna do is fold these tabs, uh, fold them back like that. And then we wanna fold this like that. So that kind of looks like, looks like that. And so then we're gonna take this and insert that right into here. And then in the back, we're gonna unfold those tabs. So it kind of locks, it locks itself in there. Cool, great, okay. Now we're going to install this little mini curved back to this left side behind the tree. So let's fold up that tab, fold up this tab, okay, and then we need to look like here. And you see this hole? Um, let's just curve this ramp so that it stops before this, this portion, and 
and it also prevents a ball from going into this hole. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab a sticker. Mm, let's use one of these little, little brown guys. So then behind there, the ball's gonna zoom around and it'll keep the flow of the game going. Now, I'm going to punch out this ramp. This is a pretty intricate ramp. It's also the ball lock and multi-ball mechanism. So this is a pretty complex piece, but don't worry, because we will help you. Um, so this piece right here comes out and you can, it's kind of cool. It's like a little chunk of wood. You can use that later. If you want to add it to a game, but it's not necessary in Swamp Quest. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to fold up this outer dock ramp right here. You can tell that this is the top because this says the side face is down. <laughs> That's a pretty good clue. <laughs> all right. And this is all shiny, too. I'm going to fold that up. Just like that. Okay. That's good. And then we're going to fold this one up. You can kind of leave that a little, it doesn't have to be super 90 on this one. Um, and then this can get folded down. one's gonna get folded under. It's kind of like a little under gripping tab. Let's see, that looks like that. It's gonna come around underneath and get taped onto the playboard. And then this is gonna fold down. And this one's gonna fold in like that too. These two are going to lock into each other. So I'm going to bend that there. I'm going to bend this one here and then connect them just like that. Now, uh, this piece is going to fold up just like that. Kind of like over bending it a little bit. And then there's a there's a crease right there. And then another one here. And then this is gonna I'm gonna kind of just bend that a little bit. There's some little cuts in there that help it. But I'm gonna clean those around. And then there's a tab right here, and then this one. It's going to be bending out like that. Okay, now that this is all folded, oh, I forgot this part. Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. This part folds in, and then see this little tab? There's a hole right here. This tab is going to, it's going to wrap around, and this tab is going to uh, hold itself in there. If you need it, a little bit of tape, or if you have a hard time with us, you can put a little bit of hot glue or something in there, and that'll help too. Okay. 
think. So I'm using my fingernail to shove that little that little tab in. There you go. Okay. And that holds this up and it creates a stop. Now I'm gonna grab the multi-ball. It's the multi-ball dump. This little guy is the same same kind of fold as this piece right here. So we're gonna fold this part up and then we're gonna fold this part up. You can tell that this is the right the right orientation because this is the shiny the shiny part. This part is a little dull in the back. And this wall is on the right side. So that's gonna go here and then this is gonna wrap around sideways because the hole is right there. Here, it's gonna roll it, wrap around like that. And you could use like a toothpick or something to sh help shove that tab in, but you can tell it's in there when it's kind of pushing out the side. Okay, so that's prepped. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it right here. And we need one of these little red stickers. Okay, so now this is important because it's gonna it's gonna provide a little hinge for for this. So this is gonna dump down like that. So we need the tape to span the front onto the underside of, of this piece. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it underneath here. There we go, that's easy. And this one sits in there like that. And then you just wanna push the, the tape onto the bottom of it. Cool, that should work. Might need a little adjustment later after you've assembled it, but that should be fine. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we are going to um, get this ready. Um, we're going to loop this around here and these ramp pieces are going to come together and install right down in here. So this piece, I'm going to rotate this around. This can kind of fold up like that and I'm going to shove the two of these pieces down in here like this. Just to kind of get them down in there. Now there's two tabs right here. You want to link those together. So that goes like this. And that's linked. Awesome job. So this is a little, this part is a little tricky. We've got one piece, one piece that's the top of the dock. And then that, that's going to come in and wrap around. And then this piece is sort of like the, the wall of the dock. So this is gonna come in and this tab is gonna come underneath here and get taped right underneath there. So slot this in here. I want to push this guy in there too. So that this piece is going to come all the way up to the edge and then I'm going to attach it underneath. Then I'll attach this one after. So, and while I'm at it, I may as well um, overlap this on there. Cool, okay. And then 
Let me get another sticker. I'm gonna use that one for this piece right here. So this is the, the back of the dock, making sure that this tree portion gets shoved down. It's in between here and there. So here's the wall of the dock, the top, the walkway of it, and then the tree has this little tab that kind of goes in between. This walkway is coming down and it's underneath. I'm going to attach that now. I want to make sure that this is all the way, kind of like pretty, pretty close to the edge up there. So now, now we're going to go grab the, the playboard and start to install it on there because it's kind of getting a little wibbly. All right. We've got this guy, and what we're going to do is these pieces slot right under the flippers in the front. And you'll notice that this is lining up right in the front, right there. And then this back portion, you can see these holes are lining up so that you could drop a ball through there. That's important. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this red sticker here, and I'm gonna use that for the front. There we go. Oops, okay. And I'm gonna wrap it right underneath there. So it's holding this cardstock right on top of the, the cardboard. Okay, so that's locked in right there. Now I'm going to start putting this, this portion on here. Make sure when you're putting this dock on that you do it around, around the, the playboard in between the um, the top of the playboard and then it's a cardboard piece. So cardstock and cardboard, it's kind of like a sandwich. Awesome. All right, and then put that on there. There you go. Cool. That's important as the pressure and the tension of this inner wall um, relates to the multi ball mechanism. I'm going to do similar thing over here. So you'll see that this dock is resting and be pushing down on top of that flat wall right there. This is another little support. And for this one, I think I'm going to slot this in between the two layers, just because I feel like it. on there tight okay this is looking pretty good now let's add this back loop right there so that's this piece to tear off that little little chunk and then um, you're going to want to fold this down and you're going to want to 
fold this side down too. And then I'm gonna flip this over. You're gonna want to fold this square tab in like that. And then this one that has a little black tip, it's gonna wrap around here and push up through this hole. There we go, just like that. And then this little green portion is gonna stick out the top. Okay. Now, this tab is gonna fold out like that. This tab is gonna fold out like that. This one, it's gonna, there's a little cut right here. It's gonna fold in like that and link to there. And then you just go boink. And this top piece is gonna overlap. So it's kind of the overlap there. And then the last thing, you wanna push this down in. A little top shape. Okay, that's prepped. And we're gonna install this in the back corner. So let's grab, let's get a sticker ahead of time huh. for the concept. And we're going to wrap this around the playboard. Make sure that this piece is inside of that shape. And I'll show you what it looks like from the top. So that, that little tab, you can see it inside of that hole. Just like that. And then these tabs are wrapping around the outside. I don't know if I can do both. Yeah, it's okay. All right, there's one. And then I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Black one. Put that on here. Like that. Now make sure that this edge sits on top of the cardboard. You don't want it like falling down and over. And then this this ramp back here can sit on top of that. This is gonna to attach to the back section. This is for battle mode. It also just attaches the, the back of the game. There we go. And then we've got two red stickers left. I'm gonna snag one, maybe both. I'm gonna put them on here as a transition. So you see how the playboard is kind of coming up like that? That's gonna not work. The launcher is gonna chew into this and it's also gonna cause the ball to go boink and kind of hop out. So what we wanna do with the sticker is make a transition. So maybe disengage your launcher for the moment and can choose whether you want the P3K logo there, or you can flip it around. I'm just gonna have it be red. I'm gonna put that in there. So there's one like that. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna use the other sticker too. Because I want that launch to be nice. Make sure that it's smooth on the inside of the launch box too, because if the stickers pull up on the inside, then when you launch it, the, the launch is gonna get stuck. So just make sure it's pushed down. Just a couple more things. Let me get the two little topiaries and then put that right there. 
apiary number one. Um, this one has the, the two points. This is gonna go on this side. So you wanna fold this little piece towards you like that. And the way that it's gonna install, there's no tape, it just kind of goes in there. I'll fold it out a little bit. Goes in and then it's going to get kind of shoved in like that. And then same thing with this. going to put that one in there just like that there we go um, now you can kind of adjust things see how it's looking you can also if you feel like it's kind of bumping up a little bit you could grab this is kind of a secret and grab the negative space from the launch hole, the launch box, and put that on the back of this. Wrap that around. How's everything feel? So in there. Let's grab this negative space right here from the chest, and let's put that on the other side, same kind of way. I'm gonna wrap it around this topiary zone. Just like that. Just to kind of hold it down in there. That's nice. We've got last piece, the ghost ramp. So this folds down here. This piece folds up. This folds up. There's a cut there, but we're not going to fold that up. We're going to fold up this and that one. Okay. And now we're going to link these two. You kind of like, there's a little tab here. You want to bring this down below there to wrap around and get at that other tab. And then once you've linked that, you can, you can bring this above that tab like that. Now it's, now it's locked in. And with this one, it's kind of a tight fit. Go like that. Okay, and it's ready. Put this one in. And this ramp right here needs this window to be open. So we'll push that out. And then let's take that off for the moment. There you go. These guys slot in there like that. This tree ramp is gonna be kind of like putting some pressure up on this corner. That's normal. And then you install this guy. You put these little nub things in this corner first. Go like that. So you put them in here. And then they link around. And then this piece kind of slots down in between the wall and the backboard. You can add a little binder clip there if you want that to be held on a little tighter, but it'll hold itself on. All right. You can also, if you feel like this is coming up, that's where the little bend comes into play. So you can kind of bend it a little bit right there so it's flat and then it angles down. That'll help it be a little less unruly. Awesome, great job. So now let's add the sticker to the front hood. And the 
flippers. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's do the flippers first. Okay. So it might be kind of hard to see. I'm going to add the front flipper stickers. And this one, this is for the right flipper. There's a little bump here. I'm going to line that up to the front of this. There's that. Just like that. So the eye is going to be right on the top of the flipper. And then this portion, you're going to wrap it around the front. Just like that. And then do that with the other one. Zoink. Wrap it around. If there's a crease on this flipper portion, um, your marble is not going to like it. So just make sure it's smooth right there. And then let's grab front hood sticker. Okay. This is easier when your front hood is locked in like that. So just make sure that you know right where you're going to put this because you only get like one good shot with this. Um, line up th this hole right here with the launch hole and then this slit right there with the uh, treasure chest. And there's a little bit of a Alrighty, so then go over it, push it down, there we go, and then I'm going to add the header onto the back of this. Alright, so you'll notice that this that there's no little edge wing thing. I'm gonna put it right on the inside. And there's kind of a margin around the header. There's a little bit of a space around there. All right, it's looking awesome. Install that. You can choose to install it there or, you know, offset a little bit so it kind of looks like the tree is going back into the, that. There you go. All right. Now let's test it out. Marble. Launch it. All right. Good job. You've constructed your Swamp Quest Pinbox 3000 Game Changer. Uh, and now, before you're done, we're going to add these little clear stickers right to the front portion. This is going to be where your thumb is going to be. You'll be flipping out right there. This will just kind of help the longevity of your graphics. After a while, I might get a little grimy. So this just keeps it nice and clean. It kind of lets you know where to put your thumbs. All right, good job.